Welcome to Cut Above Tarot, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's good to see you. Yes, it is. Taurus, this is your breakfast read. And um, we're using the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck as well as the Manga. M-A-N-G-A. Manga. M-A-G-N-G-A. Manga. M-A-N-G-A. Manga. Ha, 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 ha. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Taurus. Um. I already put out your first set of cards, and uh, your second set of cards will be your clarification cards. However, your first card you got from the Wisdom of Hidden Realms is the Desert Prince, Survivor, False Promises. Maybe you have been given some false promises in the past. Maybe you feel deserted, okay? However, um, this is a card of survival, so let's see what it's talking about. And the number on that is number 19. 1 and 9 is 0. 10. <laughs> Sorry about that. You have to excuse me sometimes. I, I go places. All right. When you stumble upon the desert prince, you receive a gift. You got a gift, Taurus. The plant life that exists in the desert environment is well defended, tough, and succulent, even though it gets little or no water. In spite of external ex conditions, extraordinary life can form and thrive. Be tough and courage and dare to dream no matter what the circumstances. It may seem to be a hard time, but not only will you survive, Taurus. You will thrive. In spite of conditions, you'll succeed. Dry spells are also a true test of faith and courage. Expect nothing less than what is in your most precious dreams and watch miracles manifest. Awesome, Taurus. So right now you might be going through a dry spell in your life. However, you still got blessings coming in. Uh-huh. You got a gift coming in. Mm -hmm. Let's see what your second card said. The chess queen. Trust and strategizing. Wow. Trusting and strategizing. Isn't that what a true queen does? Mm hmm She's always strategizing. Make sure she come on top. And she got advisors, right? Make sure she come out on top. So let's see what this card has to say. Number 30. Number 30 says, the chess queen has all the tools you need to aid you in your quest for a life of purpose, peace, and prosperity. When she arrives as your ally, you're given the task of asking spirit for a vision of your life, Taurus. Ask also to know the right actions to ensure your part in this process of unfolding. Then... With a sense of trust, allow the strategy to be given unto you by the divine. Are your own goals and desires in alignment with the divine plan for your life, Taurus? This is a reminder that there is your plan and then there is the divine plan for your life. When you're in alignment with the latter, all manner of messages are delivered to aid you in taking the next right action for your life. The chess queen says that you will win this game as long as you let spirit choose your moves. Follow your bliss and the inspired messages delivered by your soul. You cannot lose when you enter the realm of the chess queen. And she appears as your ally. So, hey, you got an ally here. And they telling you that you need to uh, you need to pay more attention to your spiritual guides. Okay? And be led by the spirit of God or the spirit. You're the divine. Okay? And you won't go wrong. Yeah, I believe that. I believe that. Because that's the way I live my life. Phoenix. You got the Phoenix card. That's the card of changing, right? 
It says resurrection, surrender to change. Okay. Look at that. That's a beautiful phoenix. Look at that. All of that fire. It's like it's burning away the old, and now all you see is the new. The new, and the new is strong and powerful and able to, to sweep across a vast amount of land and catch it a fire. Mm-hmm. So let's see what number 29 says. Hey, number 29 is next to number 30. That's cool. The phoenix appears as your ally to celebrate your journey and to ensure your ultimate success. Awesome, Taurus. This is to make sure that you're going to have success in what you're doing. You may be in a dry spell right now. However, you still got some gifts and stuff that's within you and that's coming to you. Yeah. You also need to strategize, but also uh, they want to make sure that you're aligned with your, your true purpose. You have your own purpose, and then there's a purpose that God has for us as well. Therefore, they're asking you to realign yourself and listen to the Spirit over you and therefore you won't make no mistakes you won't help but to be able to flourish and go forward and be prosperous just the way they said in the card and you got an ally you got some help okay so let me keep going okay this is true even if it appears that you've just passed through a metaphorical experience of death or a currently enduring a perception of failure in your life Death and rebirth are related when you enter the realm of the phoenix. Seen in this light, nothing truly dies, but rather changes. Hmm, this is kind of a type and shadow of the death card in the regular tarot, huh? From one ending directly into a new beginning. The phoenix is constantly reinventing itself and rising up whole and new, and even more powerful with every, every death it experiences. This could signal an end of a relationship or a dynamic within one, or an end of a job, a project, or even a life. Perhaps no failure is involved, but it's time to for a complete overhaul of your circumstances. You may be tired of what you are doing, or you may know intuitively that it's time to move on and try something new, Taurus. Whatever the case, a death of the old and a celebration of the new are called for. Whatever you do now will indeed be a successful endeavor for a rebirth is imminent. <laughs> so Taurus, regardless whether or not you want to change or not, change is coming. And you're going to have to go either kick and scream or you're going to just go through it uh, and just gracefully just accept and just move on in it. You know what I'm saying? Like the ebbs and flows. Yeah, go with the flow. Okay. And your last card is the Sacred Union card. So this one, I believe, got something to do with love as well. And it says partnership and romance. And this is the number 27. 27 is 9. And the other one was 29. 2 and 9 is 11. And the last one was 30. 3 plus 0 is 3. Okay, the Sacred Union card says, Your Sacred Union is all about beautiful, true partnership. It shows you that spirit is listening and is always by your side. See, you're never alone. Okay? God is always with you, omnipresent, omniscient, omnipotent. It shows you that the spirit is listening and is always by your side helping you to co-create your greatest desires and manifest your destiny. When you receive this ally, know that you are never alone on your path. Partnership with the divine is yours whenever you need help. The sacred union also represents the coming together of all kinds of harmonious alliances, friendships, family, business, and of course, romance. No matter what the form, this message pertains to the value of partnership and reminds you to observe the gifts bestowed upon you by the sacred union. This is a very positive omen, Taurus. Taurus, I am so impressed. Okay, now the main cause at the bottom of the deck is the overall energy is happiness. All right, wish fulfillment, getting everything that you possibly desired or wanted. That's your ten of cups. Woo, you got the justice card up under that. Look at that. And a knight of swords under that. And a ten of wands under that. 
Should I keep going? Okay. So, is there any any uh, tarot that you want to put on the desert prince? We're going to do two shuffles on each one. If nothing comes up, then you don't get nothing. How about that? All right. What about on the chest queen? Do the chest queen need to be clarified? Oh, that's a lot of cards. All right. You got the Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups. All right. All right. So, Taurus, look like you might be moving forward towards a, a relationship with someone that you feel like is your... Uh, that's that's your match, you know. Then that, that is, yeah. And then I'm looking at this this ribbon across both of my arms, so it looks like some marriage may be getting ready to take place, or as a a more committed relationship, maybe a one on one with somebody. They're asking you to have some strength pertaining to love because uh, I, in the past you haven't been getting exactly what you wanted. Okay. And it has something to do with your finances. Now, I'm going to go back and I'm going to read the book now. Like we always do. You know, I do. All right, the Knight of Wands says in this one, it says this is somebody just exploring. You want to explore your passionate side. Okay? So you want to explore your passionate side. Okay? And you're feeling like you want to share. You want to share. Your feelings with someone. All right. But right now you're feeling a little bored and low in energy. And they're asking you to have some strength. Okay. Yeah. You need to have some strength as an individual. Because you've been doing a lot of working. Okay. You've been working. You've been working. And now they say the time of ripeness is at hand. Good Lord. I noticed my nose don't never start itching until I start doing tarot. That is, I don't, that is, that's wild. Phoenix. The Phoenix card. Do the Phoenix card need to be clarified? Ooh, the Phoenix. You got the Ace of Wands, baby. That's passion. Okay, so you're passionate about your change and about uh, changing and being something better than what you are now, creating yourself in another way. Okay, because you know this Phoenix card says he this Phoenix dies many times, and every time he come back, he reinventing himself. So you passionate about reinventing yourself? I, I, I'm for that too. I, I like being creative myself. Mm hmm. Yeah, they say you got some creative desires. So yeah, you getting ready to put some some creative desires. Uh. uh in motion. Do the sacred union need to be clarified? The sacred union, a partnership romance card. Okay, I guess not. Well, they didn't give us nothing else. However, you already know you got the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups was at the bottom. Mm hmm. And that Ten of Cups speaks of what? We already know. Harmony. Harmony. Everything is balanced, going just the way you want it. The house, the dog, the cat, the man. Ooh, the property, the money, everything is going in your favor. So it sounds like to me, Taurus, that you're planning on taking some heed to what your breakfast your breakfast uh readings say. Mm-hmm. You know that you got gifts inside of you, and although you're going through a drop right now or a dry spell, you still got something coming in. You still got gifts. You still got talents. You're spiritual, okay? They want you to listen more to your intuition, okay? They want you to start listening more to God. Let, and, you know, if you've been going your own way and your way have not been working out for you, they want you, you know, woosa. Say, okay, so I, I give in. I stop. All right, what is it that you want me to do? And then wait for those little inklings to come in, them omens and stuff to show you which way to go and what to do and who to talk to. Because people will come right in front of you, right in your path that you're supposed to be uh, working with. I don't clear, but you can just hold a conversation. All of a sudden, somebody say something. You're like, what? You're like, oh, yeah, that was something. And, and there it is right there, Taurus. All right. Enjoy your breakfast, Reed. Have a wonderful day.